<laughs> hey guys, how's it going? My name is Tom Spark. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about what are the best private alternatives to Google Drive and Google Documents. How can you create documents online, share them with other users, edit them in real time on Google or not Google, get away Google, in the cloud, um, but not give away all your privacy while doing so. So today we're going to be mentioning some of my top alternatives. Um, most of them are free, which is good. So it's very easy to transfer over and none of these recommendations are sponsored. Um, also, I'm not going to be putting affiliate links for any of these in the description down below. So, you know, this video is completely unbiased. However, that said, if you do want to support me and you're looking for some good products I recommend, you could go ahead and check out vpntulist.com. I've done all the work for you in terms of picking a VPN. I've rated almost every single one and put them in handy dandy tiers to help you find the best one. Not only that, but I even have a VPN quiz as well, which will help you individually pick the best VPN for your specific needs. Not only that, I also have a list of my daily drivers and some of my favorite products. And if you click on any of these, it will help support the channel too. Finally, join the Discord community and find a, a very good Discord community. And if you're looking for a current sale going on right now in terms of VPN, I have a list of the best holiday sales. Anyways, guys, let's get back to the video. All right, guys, so first up, I'm gonna be talking about an interesting product called Crypti. Now, Crypti is primarily, um, I kind of think of it like a Google Docs alternative. It's, it's a very good document editor, um, you, but you can also store stuff on it too. This one takes minimalism to the next level. As you can see here, it's extremely minimalist. Um, a very nice uh, project here. Completely open source, free to use. Uh, as you can see here, um, easy to use as well. Um, they're based in Estonia. They have very good security. And overall, I've just had a very good experience with Crypti. Now you can pay a little bit more if you want storage, which is pretty common with these services. So this is pretty much what it looks like when you're starting Crypti. Very nice minimalist interface. You have your documents, photos, videos, and you can upgrade. So you can also have your encryption key and remember it on your device just so it's secure. This is one of those things you got to remember that encryption key though. So if you do get locked out, uh, you might have some issues. I don't know if I saved mine because I was just kind of testing it around. But overall, it's a very good service um, for documents and document storage, document editing and stuff like that. I kind of wish they had a little bit better of a showcase of, you know, what it is. I don't have my account access right now, I guess. Um, I've been using it for a little bit since I've been testing out some other alternatives. But this is kind of what it looks like. Overall, very good. I'll put that in the description down below. Next up, we have something called Proton VPN. Now, Proton VPN is a VPN, but it also has a suite of other products um, that you can get. Now, you kind of have to go to, uh, you know, here we go at the top. We got Proton Calendar, Proton Drive. Proton Drive is kind of going to be like the main thing. Now, Proton Drive is mainly a storage document thing. Um, it doesn't have like Google Doc support necessarily, so that's kind of annoying. Uh, but if you're looking for kind of a suite of services, uh, Proton isn't the worst one to go for it. Now, it is a bit pricey, but they do have free plans. It's pricey to upgrade, but free plans are available. Um, this is kind of what the mail looks like. Um, so if you're looking for something that gives you uh, mail and stuff like that as well, um, not a bad choice and it's pretty popular. But I do think I honestly prefer Skiff. Now, Skiff has been getting pretty popular lately. I'm seeing it popping up a lot and for good reason. Skiff does kind of what Crypti and Proton does, but all in one product for free pretty much. It's really nice. This is kind of what the interface looks like. So not only do you get Drive like with Proton, not only do you get the document editor like you do with Crypti, you also get email. So Skiff has email, Drive, and Docs, as you can see right here, open source. It also has cool crypto wallet integrations, making an anonymous sign up very easy. Um, like you can see here, collaborate with your Web3 identity. The people who own this company are pretty cool. They even share my videos on their Twitter sometimes, which is really nice to support my content, um, unbiased content uh, supporting them. Um, but uh, like I said, I'm not an affiliate with them or anything like that. So completely unbiased. Um, I'm not making any money from recommending these guys and it paid me anything. The good news is you don't have to pay anything either. If you don't want, it's completely free to use, but they also provide other models if you do want more storage. Now, like I said, the thing I like about it is it has really good page editor support, as you can see here. Um, amazing design from these guys, super minimalist, kind of similar to Crypti. And again, they've done some updates since I last use it and you can store things on here, very nice. And again, even the mail is really good too. So this is a complete alternative to Google, uh, very nice. And I'll put the link in the description down below as well. 
So guys, these are probably my top three alternatives to Google Drive and Google Docs. Personally, I use Skiff the most, but I also uh, see some uh, use cases for some of the other ones. The good thing about Skiff, it's available on PC and all the other platforms as well. So guys, if you like this video, let me know down in the comments down below. If you like these unbiased recommendations, of course, check out my other unbiased recommendations here on the channel where I review VPNs and list some of my other favorite products as well on my website. Also join the Discord as well, like I said, to participate in my community. Anyways guys, see you again very soon.